Hey guys, it's Alon here. Thank you for joining me for another weekly recap of what's going on here at Acorn Productions. Now, I say weekly recap, but it has been a few weeks since you guys heard from me, so I do apologize from that. I am back from my trip, and it was a nice trip if, if you are wondering. Now, let's just quickly recap what's happened since we were gone. We've finally had a good month, and I know you guys haven't had a good month in a long time. I want to apologize. You know, the past six months, they've been a bit choppy. They could have been better. And to be honest with you, I was expecting it to be worse for a shorter amount of time and improve. But things are still going according to plan. If you actually zoom out, guys, and think about it, we're actually doing better than last year. At this point, last year, a lot of our good results come all at once. And that's how stocks are sometimes. Uh, not just stocks, crypto. Sometimes all the results come in one day, in in a few weeks. And you got to be in it to win it, so to speak. So uh, we, we do have that going for us. I can show you guys quickly. Uh, Itoro actually gave me these little bit of a stats here. So this is actually tracking... Um, us versus the S&P 500 and you can see we were beating it at the start of the year but at the moment we're dropping behind but I do expect us to beat it actually uh, again soon the reason is the core strategy of what I'm doing is I hold risky elements so at the moment the risky elements that should perform better are crypto but that being said crypto has been letting us down for the past six months but keep in mind, guys, that while crypto does let us down now, it can really benefit us later. And I've had a lot of big investors in me or some of my biggest investors, which happen in some cases to be my family, ask me what's going on with the crypto. You know, they're not necessarily comfortable with it. But keep in mind, guys, we won't always have crypto. The current plan is to ride out crypto for the next six months, maybe even a little bit more, just a few months more before we transition those profits and rebalance the portfolio that is the play and you know that that's what sort of the macro play we're making with that part of the portfolio and at the moment the stock the stocks are keeping us healthy now we should see a good strong end of the year it just typically seems like these last three months up till christmas maybe people care about stocks and crypto more than they do for the rest of the year they forget about it and it's also just lining up with a lot of good news so i want to show you guys we did mention the fear greed index for crypto it was literally half as high before so while bitcoin has gone up you know a few thousand let's say 10 percent uh, recently there's just a lot of positive sentiment so just around crypto in general there's there's a lot of positive sentiment so that's that's what's been really interesting to me so anyway guys this has been a really good month i'm going to keep at it with the weekly recaps i don't want to really change anything at the portfolio right now i'm kind of liking where it is i like the holdings we're having and i think we're in a good position with all of these positions for, for them to actually go green soon and for us to catch this wave and to rebalance the portfolio and make it a uh, make it solid for the next year but at the moment i i like what we're looking at and we're looking good and keep in mind guys if you have any questions if you have any concerns uh ask me here and and you know we'll talk about it I'll, I'll try my best to answer your questions. This is also a community portfolio. So if you have any stocks or any crypto you really like and you want to know why it's not in here, we can also have a look at it together, you know. With that being said, guys, thanks for your patience. We got some good things on the horizon and I'll catch you guys all next time.